The Shiba Inu ecosystem has been really active in the past couple of days. And as we eagerly await the launch of Shiba Inu's Layer 2 blockchain, Jibarium, it is important that we take stock of all of the activity and what exactly they mean to us. Today's video is going to be an interesting one, and if you hold any amount of SHIB, you really should stick around for this one. So, we are officially in the third month of the year 2023, and we still do not have the Shibarium. However, we shouldn't lose sight of the things that we do have. If you think about it, this seems like the closest that we have come to the launch of Shibarium since it was announced that the platform was being created. Granted, we still do not have a specific launch date, but Shitoshi has been publishing a series of blog posts that are supposed to usher in the platform. Shitoshi mentioned a couple of weeks back that he will publish about five or six Shibarium blogs, after which would then come the Shibarium platform itself. Already, three blog posts have been published, and if you have been watching videos on this channel, you know that all three of the blogs have been very informative. What is contained in the blogs are things that we actually need to know in the lead-up to the launch of Shibarium. In the first blog, Shitoshi explained that Shibarium is built on four common values, burn, protect, help, and grow. The burn suggests that every single Shibarium transaction will burn ship. Protect suggests that Shibarium will need to be protected against a few deeders by the community and will also be instrumental to protecting the ecosystem. Help suggests that Shibarium would serve as a launching pad for many projects that would benefit the community. And Grow suggests that Shibarium would be instrumental to the growth of the ecosystem. As the Shiba Inu community and people who will be engaging with Shibarium, it is important that we bear these four values in mind. Why? Well, if Shitoshi is saying that these are the core values of Shibarium, it means we can expect to see them at play in Shibarium. If that doesn't happen, we can make demands and ask for improvements based on what Shitoshi himself said. So yay, bear in mind that Shibarium's core values are to burn, protect, help, and grow. The second blog was more of a recap of the year 2022 for the ecosystem. However, there were a number of things that were mentioned that I'm pretty sure many of us didn't know about before. For instance, the issue with the breeds was cleared up. I talked about that in yesterday's video, though, so I won't be getting into it here. You should go check yesterday's video if you haven't yet. We also learned that the dev team plans to do some exciting things with the game. Unfortunately, the game is yet to recoup its development cost, in spite of the fact that it debuted at the top of the charts. However, with the exciting new updates that are set to be implemented, the game should be able to recoup its losses quickly enough. According to Shitoshi, with a robust IP, powerful card deck, and fun gameplay, this goal is on track. And hopefully with its blockchain release, the community will see low-cost improvements like tournaments and more levels. The second blog also talked about the Shiba and Yu metaverse. Some people make the mistake of thinking that the metaverse has been launched already, but it hasn't. What happened last year was a land sale. People were allowed to book down plots of land in anticipation of the launch of the metaverse. The metaverse is still in development and Shibarium is actually going to be instrumental to its running. So, it looks like we won't see the launch of the metaverse until after Shibarium has been launched. Having said all of that, Shitoshi is aware that the dev team has not achieved all that it set out to. In fact, he mentions that they have been unsuccessful in some of their endeavors. But, apparently, the dev team has learned from their mistakes and plan to do better moving forward. He also mentions that, Essentially, I've done everything I could to ensure that everyone is welcome to sh because they are. However, that doesn't mean people and projects have free reign to behave without respect for all the work we have accomplished so far. The most recent blog is a call to action. It contains a link to a new website, an intake system. And for those who don't know, the intake system is a platform where anyone who wants to build something on the Shibarian platform can be onboarded. The idea here is that everyone is welcome on the Shibarium platform. It is meant to be truly decentralized, so anybody should be able to build whatever they want, provided it not detrimental to the ecosystem or community. That said, the fact that anybody can build what they want on Shibarium means that we need to be very careful about what we support. The dev team will do their bit to prevent scammers from getting into the platform, but ultimately, it is your duty to keep yourself from getting scammed by doing your own research. Please, whatever you do, make sure to do your own research before engaging with anything anywhere. According to Shitoshi, ideally, this intake system will allow us to find the best projects and link them together with others who can help or assist. It'll allow us to meet the army and remain organized in the process. 
It'll allow us to grow Shibarium's reach with professional companies and allow us to reset our relationships with businesses that we've connected to in the past. Finally, it'll help us find the right validators. Having said all of that, we still do not have a specific launch date for Shibarium. In two of the three published Shibarium blogs, Shitoshi talked about when Shibarium will be launched, but all he said both times was that Shibarium will be launched soon. No one, except maybe the dev team, knows when this soon will be. We can only hope that soon happens this month. If you found this really valuable, please drop a comment and share this video with friends. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm, thus helping me to keep increasing the quality of the videos. Anyway, while we might not be sure about when Shibarium will be launched, there's something that we know for sure. Shiba Inu has landed a brand new listing, and it's by the very popular Wendy's Fast Food. The large fast food chain will be accepting SHIB via Binance Pay. And what this means is that you can now pay for your food at any of many Wendy's locations all over the world. But that's not all. Remember how Binance Pay is responsible for this? Well, they haven't only made SHIB payment at Wendy's possible. They have also made SHIB payment possible at more than 600 different vendors across the state of Georgia. These vendors include major hotels, restaurants, and supermarkets. Now, you will agree with me that any kind of adoption is welcome. But when that adoption is coming from some of the biggest businesses and companies in the world, you know that you have something valuable that will respond by increasing even further in value. Something else that we have to celebrate is the fact that analysts are saying that Shiba and Yu is looking bullish. They are even saying that it is looking more bullish than we think. Apparently, SHIB has experienced a drop in its annual percentage yield APY in one of the largest liquidity pools on Uniswap. According to you today, high APY rates can be enticing to investors, but they can also be a warning sign of high risk. Extremely high APY can be unsustainable and indicate that the market is overheated or there is too much volatility. The sudden drop in SHIBA and news APY could be seen as a positive sign suggesting that the market may be stabilizing and that the token's value is no longer being artificially inflated. Of course, this isn't certain and things could swing the opposite way. That is, some people might see the low APY and decide that things could only go downhill from there. So, this is not financial advice. Make sure to do your own research. But I do want to hear what you think about this. Do you see it as a sign that Shiba Inu is correcting itself or is it a reason to pack up and go? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. With that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there.